everyone, I'm Asia Day, and today I'm showing you how I pull back and hide my bangs. I recently got bangs, and while I do love them, sometimes I just want more variety. So here are a few easy ways to pull back your bangs. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to see more hair tutorials, and let's begin. So before I pull back my bangs, here's how I actually style them. This is day-old hair, and my bangs have been pulled back overnight, so in order to restyle them, what I do is I spray them with water so I can remold them. Then I take my brush, I don't use a round brush because I don't want to add any body to my bangs, and then I brush them back and forth with the blow dryer. And then I continue to go back and forth until my bangs are straight. I like to push my bangs over to one side uh, just so I can see better because my bangs are cut on the longer side. And the reason why I got bangs is because I always have my hair up. That's kind of just like my thing. I like to throw it up in a little bun. I just prefer my hair out of my face and I just love the look of side swept bangs with the bun. It's so easy and sophisticated. I mean, hello Dolly, you know what I'm saying? So this is basically my go-to bang look, or just my go-to look in general. So now you know how I style my bangs, this is how I pull them back. This first look is by far the easiest because you are just literally pulling back your bangs. Just take two bobby pins and pull back your bangs and that's it. My hair already has volume to it, but if you do have freshly washed hair, add some curls to it with a curling iron for some volume. This is a really easy way to pull back your bangs. I've been doing this since middle school, so trust me when I say it's foolproof. Okay, the next one is similar in premise to the first one, but we are adding a braid to it. So take that same front section of hair and divide it into three individual sections. Take one of the outside pieces, it doesn't matter which side, and go under the middle one. And then take the other outside piece and then go under the middle one and continue this method until you're at the back of your head. Every time you gather from a side, take a small section of hair to add to that side piece so your braid gets thicker the further you go. If you want to mess up your braid a little, just take your pointer and thumb and kind of massage your hair strands. That's going to give you that like Instagram baddie look. I don't like my buns too high up, so I go a little bit on the back of my head. Just give your hair a little twirl and secure your bun. I think this look looks best with textured hair, so I'm just going to really quickly run some texturizing spray through my hair. It's hard to tell the awesomeness of this look because I don't have highlights on the top of my head, but trust me when I say this is a really great look. The next look is another simple one, giving the vibes of a braid but easier because we're just twisting. So give yourself a deep part to your favorite side, whichever side you want. Take the front portion of your bangs and divide them into two sections and then twist backwards. That is it, people. Every time I twist, I add some hair from my hairline to the twist as I go backwards. I don't go all the way down. I stop gathering around midway between my part and my ear. And then I just take that hair and twist all the way back and secure with a bobby pin. Super cute, right? It takes 10 seconds and you don't need a mirror, you don't need a brush. You can just do this whenever you want. Next look is playing off the deep side part that we have from the last look. What you need is a curling iron for this one. Use your biggest barrel. I think this one is either one and a half or two inches. I'll link all that information in the description box. And instead of curling your bangs back, I'm trying to actually shape them backwards so I don't want any curl to it, which is why you want the biggest barrel. I'm basically just warming the hair up to flow backwards if that makes sense. And then once all your bangs go backwards, take some spray. I'm using dry shampoo because I don't want to add more stiffness to my hair and just spray it. So now you have this awesome 80s modern bombshell side part thing going on. For me, I think current Kim Kardashian hair, just with less of a wet look and a tad bit more volume. I think this look is really, really sexy and it is, of course, another great way to keep your bangs back. Okay, the next look is for my fashion daredevils out there. It might seem a bit much, but I promise you, you will get a lot of compliments on this really, really cool look. So you're gonna put your hair in three sections, but let's start at the top. Grab some hair from the top of your head and brush your hair so it's super smooth and super tight. 
If you have short bangs, you'll want to use hairspray, but mine are long enough to fit in a pony already. And then once your hair is smooth and tight, wrap yourself a little bun. Repeat this two or three more times. Now it's supposed to look messy, but if you want to spray and bobby pin strays, go ahead and do that. Also, if you wanted to take the time to make all your parts straight, go for that as well. But honestly, I've never had anyone come up to me and say, girlfriend, your part is crooked. And you know, this is actually a really great hairstyle for the gym. Okay, now for the next look. Split your hair into two sections and we are basically just going to braid all the way down to the nape of the neck. I'm going over the center strand instead of under, but do whatever you like. Um, honestly, it really does not make that big of a difference. And then once you get to the neck, put your hair into what I've been calling a doo-doo sack all my life. Um, I don't know the official name of it. When you are pulling your hair through your rubber band, don't pull the hair all the way through the rubber band. Just leave a little hole at the top. I don't know how else to explain it. I guess just like a loopy pony thing and voila <laughs> once you tie your pony at the end you can go ahead and thicken up the braids by using that massaging technique and then you got yourself girlfriend some cute ass pigtails and finally look number seven what you're going to do is keep that center part and just spray back your bangs with hairspray you can use a straightener if you want but my hair is already straight so i'm basically done it is instant chicness all right, everyone, so those are seven different ways you can pull back your bangs. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you loved it and let me know what other types of videos you would like to see. I'm Asia Dang. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.